So welcome back from that break. That is uh, Who's in God No Day by Kofi Kakari. And of course, we had played earlier Best Side in 100% from Scott Evans also. And uh, that draws us into our conversation this afternoon. We're talking about exploring the Afro Gospel wave, right? And um, in the past couple of years, there, there's been the, the rise of um, you know, a genre. I'm not sure it's official like that, but something like that. Um, it's gospel music but not the traditional gospel music as we know it either reggae as we know it from the 90s or worship or you know it's it's just um maybe i'll just leave it to my guest to explain uh, what they do especially with this particular afro gospel where we are live on facebook at metro tv Ghana, and also dstv channel 277 you can join us then of course the ladies are here nanaya tanawati and helen k let's get straight into our guest, one gentleman, fine man in glasses, Kofi Kakari. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Is it first time here? No, you know, it's my second time. Second time. Yeah. Yeah. First time you were. Then the first yeah, time was I wasn't was yeah. on the first time. You were not. Oh, oh it's true. Yeah, it's true. This is like the second time. Yeah. yeah. And Scott Evans, a man that I've met a, a, a number of times, uh, recently was the VGME. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was dripping in yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say. I do Fantastic. Yeah. So today that's a conversation we're having. So even if you off air, what we're talking about, like, do you get that often? Uh, yes. Some people have some misconceptions about um, the sound that we mm. put out. I heard you say something that well, you don't know if it's official. It is official. Okay. Afro gospel is an official genre. Okay. You know, we have, we have millions of listeners. It's not something that is confined to um, this nation called Ghana. Okay. It is a a, a continental thing it's a worldwide thing mm -hmm. and so you have people from other continents actively listening to you know afro gospel you know and, and it's a big thing it's, it's what's it's what's shaping the minds of a of a young ones now it's what's it's what's giving the narrative mm -hmm. you know of what the gospel is now and so many people have bought into it and so it's official yeah it's, it's very official, official. Yes. so when, when you started music was it was it something like this afro gospel thing did you start a just when you began musical, it later came up that, okay, let me venture into this. Space. You know, the thing is that um, we are giving gifts to express, you know, in different capacities, yeah. you know. So there are those who have the capacity to do the rap, you know, and all the other expressions and those who are not. The thing is that right from the onset, I had the capacity. But because I would say we didn't have much of an audience mm -hmm. when we started. Okay. You know, it wasn't something that I expressed, not because I couldn't, but around that time, the audience for the sound, very few people transcended the sound of the day to have comprehension, you know, of what we are doing now. Yeah. yeah, so I believe that when the time was right, you know, and when the green light came on, we decided to, okay, you know what, this is the best time. People are listening to us. Let us put the gospel in this genre and then let them know. You know that this is something that exists and is shaping and contributing efficiently to church growth and church progress. Fantastic. Um, Scott, <laughs> I do smile. Like, you know, the question I come ask. I mean, I'm just asking really the reception. Has it been super amazing for you, or you've also had uh, an idea, idea in Yumini? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's always difficult when something is new and mm. people don't accept things just because they are new. It takes time for the thing to grow on the people. So, I mean, yes, from the start, people were like, uh, uh, uh. And honestly, from the start, it was not really Afro gospel. It was like an urban gospel. Urban gospel was, thing. Okay. It was it was a whole like a matter of um, dancehall, Afro beats, uh, high life, hip mm. life, um, hip hop, and all that. Until recently, uh, until some years back, that Afro, the African sound as Afro beats, gave, gained dominance in the music space. Then now I realize, okay, we have to stick with it. So, I mean, it's it's it has always been just like my big brother said. But I mean, we, we've made progress. We made significant progress. And progress. now the sound is a global thing now. Yeah. yeah. I, I liked um, Chris Yorton. I'm a huge Chris Yorton fan, yeah. you know, from back in the days. Um, so what he was doing, was that like an opening for what um, both of you are doing now? Uh, Chris stands to say he, he did contemporary. So that's contem yeah, contemporary. But, but, but you know, to, 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 to an extent, he also opened the door to that. for a lot of people from mainstream music circles to accept the gospel so, dimension 
of what this is. Yeah. Okay. Because yes, we know him to be a worshiper, but I know Kwesi Oting to be a prolific writer yeah. and mm -hmm. he expresses in different shapes, ways and forms. And, and his so, sound, his sound is always like that. He has, he's got a sound. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You see, so I think he really contributed to getting people um, accept the the urban gospel yeah. sound and also the Afro, you know, sound that has evolved into Afro gospel now. Now, okay. Yes. So what the Afro gospel is under urban? No. Or so we have urban gospel has more of um, a hip hop twist, mm -hmm. like you know, to the it. Okay. Of, okay. Say, I get it. So uh, the likes of Black Three Sixty. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, but they all also express in Afro gospel. Yeah. You know, the Afro bit is the introduction of a very native african sounds Sound, yeah. you know it's okay. a build-up okay you know so yes the urban you feel some urban touches but it's a build-up we've now dominated it with a lot more african sound Sound, native yeah. african yeah. sound yes so we can say that it's urban gospel that has now been changed to afro gospel it hasn't yeah. been changed urban gospel still it's exists today, yes. as a genre or on its own yes and so now we have afro gospel also as a genre on, on its own but so far, will we say that the church uh, has accepted this new genre? Is it even going to be easy for the church to accept this new genre? What I'll say is that on this part of Africa, which yeah. is Ghana, we are still on the ascendancy. <laughs> you know, but when you go to countries like Nigeria, you know, South yeah. Africa, it's, it's big. Yeah. You know, and the thing is that, truth be told, it's, it's, it's been exported off the shores of Ghana. So when you go to America, when you go to Europe, it's widely been accepted yeah. and people are really vibing and growing with the sound. I think that over here in Ghana, we need a little more attention than we are getting. And the truth is that when you compare what is being released on a global scale, we have that quality here. Mm -hmm. People are releasing global sounds from here. But the thing is that the natives are not really giving yeah. that much attention. You know, And in some cases, I dare say that we've received much more acceptance from outside Ghana than even within yeah. our country. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, from okay. Nigeria, from South Africa, from the US, from Europe, from UK. They play our songs like on U a regular. UK is amazing. Premier Gospel is like, it's always on. Yes, Premier Gospel. That's you can check true. them out. They are always on like our songs. I mean. Okay. That, that's cool. Now, now you yeah. come in. You come <laughs> I was even going to go on the, the, the leaders actually embracing it, but then you touch on it. But then let's go a bit... Um, to the fact that most people believe that, oh, um, this Afro gospel is riding on the waves of Afro beats because there's Afro beats now, right. Afro fusion, yeah. They sort of question the lifespan of the genre. The lifespan of the, okay. of the genre. The lifespan of the genre. How is it going to be used in the future? Mm. Because those people who come from that perception that they question the lifespan believe that years ago, even though the world has evolved, music has evolved, sound has evolved, the sort of inputs those traditional music had on certain generation, are we going to get the same thing with the terrain or with the focus now with the Afro gospel? So let's touch on the lifespan. Can it be there for generations to come and meet and the impact it had can it serve its purpose you know Scott, how are you looking at <laughs> let, let, let me say this okay <laughs> everybody knows that language evolves uh -huh. music is language mm -hmm. okay. and so when you say will will it last mm -hmm. are we I, talking the longevity yes it yeah. will last okay. you know do you know that what we're speaking now this english language mm -hmm. wasn't spoken like this years back mm -hmm. We have the King James Bible as yeah, an example. Yeah, right, yeah. Thou, those, yeah. this, why yeah. doest thou these True. things? That's <laughs> not what we say now, but we still recognize that as language. Yeah. Yeah, right. What it means is that we've come from somewhere. So for those who have doubts, I want to allay their fears. This mm -hmm. is here to stay. Okay. For as long as music exists as a language, Afro gospel is here to stay. It's going to last. It's going to outlive a lot of us. Because so many years when we are dead and gone, what we have, I mean, look at, for example, um, high life music. Mm -hmm. okay. There are so many Christian songs that have high life sound. Yeah. But, you know, the originators of that sound are nowhere to be found. Yeah, most yeah. of them. But their sound and music yeah. live on. Yeah. yeah, It's exactly the same for us. So they shouldn't doubt. This is something that's here to stay. It's already shaping lives. And it will keep shaping lives when we are far gone to be with the Lord. When you say shaping life, I want to understand how. So you know how you music controls emotions. 
Music can get you to do things you never thought you would. I could put on a record that could get you very angry for no reason, and it puts you in a mood. That's the contribution of music. Music is able to shape culture. And so when I say what I said initially, what I'm trying to say is that through the sound, with the efficacy of the power of the Holy Spirit and the true word of scripture. Well, you should listen to gospel rappers. You'll be shocked. You should listen to like gospel Afrobeat musicians. You'll be shocked. The deep we things. are deep. Yeah. We read. We have so the point is the, the song, the music has capacity to transform minds and renew lives. Now, for, for example, there's a song I put out on my EP Power of Praise. It's called um, One Time, right? It's, it has an Afro dance hall kind of vibe oh, to it. Yeah. Now, um, I'm, I'm in my house. I get a phone call from a young girl. And this is a girl who was just about committing suicide. And decided, I don't even know how she got my number. I guess maybe from Instagram or something. Called me, says that she was going to kill herself. Sent me a picture of the poison she was going to drink and die. But has decided not to do that because mysteriously, my song was in a playlist and a came playlist. up. Okay. And after listening to the song, she feels there's hope. This is a transformation I'm talking about. Mm. So, Not just my music, yeah. but my brothers. I mean, Scott Evans songs. Yeah. Mm. They are touching lives. People are finding hope, finding strength. And the reason they are doing it is not because we have strength on our own, but it's because of the efficacy of the Holy Spirit that is in the songs. Mm. So that's the transformational power we are talking about. So we have the Afro gospel as a platform. And what we come in with is the gospel and the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah. And when people listen, they really receive transformation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. then yeah. you would say that yeah. uh, gospel music is not even about genres. It's about the word of God that is in it and the power of the Holy Spirit. It is about the word of God and it's about genres it's because it's, it's language. It's a combination of the you two. You speak tree, you speak English, you speak Hausa. Must we say that, well, then it's not really... A, no, they are all mediums of yeah. communication, yes. Okay. So it's gospel, but we have different genres that come. Scott wanted to make a point. Yes, here. I wanted to add up to what he said. That um, I have, I have um, experienced this myself, that um, uh, mindsets are formed through continuance of repetition. The things that we see now, it's because... The things that a young generation are doing now is because of what is so on TV. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you understand? A lot of young folks are doing things, they are smoking, picking guns, doing a lot of things because of what they heard it from the rappers. Mm -hmm. So when it, when it comes to music, the lyrics affects the thinking pattern of the listener. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Recently, I got on social media, I realized that somebody was, there were people, a lot of people are relating to when he shares new song. Why? Because it resonates to whatever With they are them, going through. Yeah. So what my brother is saying is that the fact is this. You can't be better than what you listen. One, you can't be better than what you see. Three, you can't be better than what you say. These three things are the millions of things getting to you. So therefore, if we are giving you what you hear, the sound, we are giving you what you see with the videos. Our videos are clean. I put models in my videos yeah. and they are all covered. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an encouragement to a young lady who wants to be a model, but she doesn't want to be explosive. Mm. She could be in my, my music video, which have the art and everything, but still wholly covered. Okay, yeah. so I, I like the bits about the content because um, that is where those who have issues with urban, Afro gospel, like, it's a, uh, and you, you may not be able to blame them because when you listen to the Afrobeat songs of today, it's less of the content, it's more of the vibe and, and the jam to it. So you, you cannot really blame them that, okay, in between you there, it's just like the usual Afrobeat song. If it's not a blame, like, then nobody yeah. should blame us as well. Because, I mean, you choose what you listen. And okay. you know what you're going to listen. Everybody's deliberate about what they want to listen, okay. basically. Yeah. The music are out there. Mm. If you pick any song you're listening, it's because you want to listen you want to, to. Listen to And you, you need to be responsible and accountable for what you're listening to. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So, before somebody picks Stone Boy song to listen, he knows what he wants to hear. Yeah. Shatawali, he knows. Jometo, he knows. Kofi, he knows. Whichever artist they pick to listen, they know what's in there. Okay. Do you understand? So, if, if I and Kofi stand for Afro Gospel and you pick our songs and you come out to tell me that um, the beat is the same about you, I mean, it's... 
because you are not in. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's true, it's true. Because the thing is, everybody's intentional. Yeah. We give you all these choices so that you can you can opt for what you want, want to, you know, listen to. And the truth is that what we are giving you is authentic. You know, we are not giving you anything that is inferior. What we are giving you is the true word of God, the true word of hope and love. You know, and just that we are choosing a different medium to communicate that to you. You know, so if you really are in love, and you know, I, I realize that Ghanaians we love to dance, Africans we love to dance. Yeah, 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 true. And so, the means through which we are communicating this is bringing a lot of what we really are authenticity. You know, to the fore. Yeah. You know, coupled with the gospel. You know, so while I can you imagine dancing to truth? You know that Jesus loves you, and you are dancing to the truth. Yeah. That Jesus really loves you, and He cares about you. That is what <laughs> we are doing. Okay, so you talk about um, being deliberate so in order to command the masses when i say command the masses now we have the gen z's and the millennials, the millennials I think we, are yeah. the, we are the millennials, millennials yeah. yes the z's are the i want after us okay <laughs> so in order to command and influence their thoughts because i think recently an article that was online talked about what the gen z's are actually doing that is actually influencing them come let's say 10 15 years most of their habits or their 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 daily lives will be changed should this be a deliberate attempt like he mentioned to be able to make it constant that let's use this afro wave to sanitize their mind i don't know if what i'm, I'm communicating yeah, yeah. well because most of the gen z's we are seeing are doing a lot of things i i, I wouldn't mention campuses and things but things are happening yeah a lot and we we we, we know yeah a lot come five ten years we will be surprised at certain things that we hear and that's what all that the article was saying so as gospel musicians in the gospel space would you advise that it should be a constant effort. It should be a deliberate agenda to make sure that we use this Afro gospel wave to infuse them in a positive light, or we should just leave it as it is. We we have to be. It's 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 a deliberate attempt. You have to and when you say when, when you how to explain it right now, we have a few people doing this whole Afro gospel in Ghana. Maybe I don't know if I, like. Now, now that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh no, I didn't want the traditional. I didn't want the tradition. That the, the, yes. the regular tradition. Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Mention the name. Let's mention. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so as you are saying that, yeah. if we are going to be deliberate about it, does it mean that we will have to involve? The gospel artists that do the, the normal gospel artists that are into more of like the traditional music and things should should the attempt be like that? I, I think I think it's a global sound. Okay. Af Afro beats or Afro Afro beats basically is a global mm. sound now. It has a global audience. Mm -hmm. If you go online, if you if you have a particular kind of sound, mm -hmm. you feature in some playlist. Yeah. yeah. Strictly. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. Me? So they a, a, a lot of artists now. The, the last time. I heard, I heard a song from Jomoto that really, really um, took him to a higher platform. A higher place was my everything. Yeah. yeah. And that was an Afro jam. Yeah, that's yeah. an Afro jam. That's an Afro yeah. beat. And everywhere he goes, mm -hmm. if he perform that song, the feeling is different. Yeah. The vibe is different. Yeah. The reception is different. Yeah. That's one. Two. Listen to um, remember see, I said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That was that was yeah, that yeah. was strictly Afro yeah. gospel. That's all traditional. And after that, I've not heard any any other production. I mean, I've heard the other production from. But yeah. I mean, yeah. when she goes for events, or even when we go to events together, and yeah. she plays Asida, the vibe is different. The atmosphere, the reception is different because it's the global sound. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. My my, my own um, Diane Hamilton. She has a song like has an Afro song like as well. Mm -hmm. Um. Bring your name. Yeah, the beat, the beat is different. Well, she's Afro. I, I was so, coming from the Selena Boatins and the Emmy So you Newmans. see, so I'm, I'm trying to build out yeah. a communication for you to understand that they they need to understand that the sound has changed. Okay. So and it has also, changed on the front line. Yeah. It has changed. Frank is doing Afro beat. Yeah. Ada is doing Afro beat. Eben is doing Afro beat. Limo Blaze. Now Limo Blaze doing Afro beat. From even the Nigerians. Mr. Chimo is doing Afrobeat. Yeah. The Nigerians, the song that we do, they are Afrobeat. Mm. The, the Nigerian who is reading, reading, actually reading, topping touch now in Nigeria, which is Blaze. Miracle, no, that. Yeah. it's Afrobeat. Yeah. Nobody's playing bigger shows in Nigeria than Moses, Moses Blaze now. Yeah. You can check it, nobody. But he's doing Afrobeat. It's, it's truly Afro songs that he's doing. 
you understand? So I'm saying that you, if if any any musician who wants to stay for long in the time to be relevant, to, to be relevant, yeah. you need to understand that they sound mm -hmm. because Sarko has even transitioned himself from the Sarko kind of way <laughs> to the new sound. <laughs> You know, to, to okay. add to that, yeah. I, you, were, you were speaking about an article earlier. And yeah. that is the reason why we do what we do. Yeah. You see, we, we, we do what we preach, what we preach in Afrobeat so that we can transform. The Bible says that train up a child the way he should go. And when they grow, they will not depart, depart from, from it. What we are doing is contributing efficiently to giving them solid foundation and sound mindedness Mind. oh. through which they can grow properly. Yeah. You know, the Bible says something. It says, um, it says that for God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Do you know that you can listen to music and you can, by the spirit of God, develop a very sound mind to live by? Yeah. 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 A lot of people have love, a lot of people have power, but they don't have sound, sound mind. mind to thrive and rule and reign in the Christ that has Space. given, yes, yeah. in, the, in the Christ that has given his life for them. So what we are doing is contributing efficiently to getting the, the millennials or whichever other generation yeah, comes yeah. after yeah. to have the mind of Christ, to have sound mindedness through music, wholeness through music, deliverance through Afro gospel music. So apart from, um, in addition to what my brother is saying, we are, you see, it's not, it's not a fluke. We are not doing this because we want to have fun alone. No, 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 no We no, are no. doing this because it's a mandate. We are sent to be agents okay. of change. The necessity is laid upon us. Thank you very yeah. much. To impact positively. So that is what we are doing. And when you listen to our music, trust me, you'll be transformed. Okay. <laughs> but so Helen, <laughs> before you come in, so it, is it going to be easy? Like mm. I mentioned, like the mm. selling a not, the nothing, nothing good comes easy. So, yeah. so, so how, 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 but you how see, let me even, to... let me even come in with the mm. selling a bit. Mm -hmm. You see, I, I, I really would appreciate if you don't put anybody in a box. box. Okay. Because Selena Boateng can also do, do it. Oh, yeah. Probably she has decided yeah. not to yeah. yet. yet. We but don't have we'll her be surprised. a traditional yeah. gospel artist. So yeah. the, the thing I'm trying to communicate here is that the genre is open to, to everyone. everyone. Okay. And, and, and Afro, Afro beat is not a sin. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a sin. Preach on, brother. Preach on, brother. Oh, it's, it's a sound. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a sound that has been discovered by you know, humans. Hold people on. People actually think with, with, it's like that. It's a sin. Yeah. People think it's a sin. Yeah. But yeah. you see, all this sound that we have before Afrobeat was sound developed by humans. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Even, so even gospel right. from back in the day was reggae. No, no, no. It wasn't even. It wasn't even. There were chants. Yeah. There were sounds. Good. There were hymns. Yes. Okay. So if you listen to some of the very old Those churches, for instance, the Anglicans, the yeah. Catholics, they have a certain way you of know, doing they, sound. Some yeah. yeah. Do you know they lose? Yeah. They use they use Latin yeah. too, and then it transitioned from there to hymns. Yeah. They had the keyboard, the keyboard was coming playing, in. Uh, the mm. organ was playing a much bigger role in yeah. there. Then on our side of things, High Life came. Kim. Because there are churches that sang only hymns. Yeah. They, do, they didn't even have drums in their churches. Yes. Yeah. It evolved from there to having drums. That was the kunga. kunga. Yeah. You know, they started singing. Then, then, then it go to High Life. Yeah. Then now High Life became the traditional gospel sound. Then from mm. there, we had reggae. reggae. <laughs> then that became the traditional. traditional. It, what we are trying to say is that it's evolution yeah we are evolving we are adding yeah you get it this is the foundation we are something growing. else is language yeah, yeah. we're just adding to the language what we are doing is we are preaching the same old Jesus. gospel it's, it's like modern it's like, it's like a modern church with ancient pillars mm. okay. okay we are still preaching the same old pillars message. of the truth yeah. of god's of the message of christ and mm -hmm. his love and his forgiveness and his right. redemption and his freedom and his power. We are still thing. preaching the same thing. Nothing but changed. it is just in a modern in a more modern language. Yeah. So you we know? should be using that like, as a, a yeah. morning devotion. <laughs> you can't <laughs> oh, you, you know there are songs, let me tell you. You see, we, sometimes when people hear Afro gospel, yeah. they think it's only up tempo. Yes. The yes. Afro sound transcends just up tempo. Yeah. Listen, there are there are soulful songs that are communicated through African Afro instruments. instruments. That can be such a blessing to you. Yeah. We just have to open up. Listen, I believe strongly that God can be relevant in every culture. Every if he decides culture. To. And I know for a fact that this is a culture God is relevant in. And life God is in need. God I think those, those who are late, 
must renew their mind, mind. And, and catch yeah, up yeah. because we are, okay. we are moving. That's we, why some of them are just of the question. point yeah. that, yeah, mm. uh, you know, gospel, that's why I said earlier, but you seem to be disagreeing with that. that but then Gina? again, yeah, but then again, coming back to it, most of them, um, and I think the last time Moses Okay was here, we're speaking about some of this. And then you see, for them, they feel that uh, it's not really about the sound, like he was saying, but gospel is about Christ preaching the word, being able to touch hearts. So whether it's high life, whether it's reggae. I like the fact that you whether, said gospel, and that limits you. But right. when you say gospel music, it goes okay. beyond what he's saying. Gospel okay. is strictly the word. The, the word. Yeah. Yeah, but so but once you music? add gospel right. music, music doesn't have any restrictions when it comes True. to the word of God. True. Music right. is big. True. Oh, so which means it can be gospel music, but you are not preaching about Christ. Is no, 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 no. no. He has defined no, the gospel. What he said, the gospel is good news. Yes. Right. Good news. Be good news based of, on what? Of Christ. Christ. Right. Yes. So that is our foundation. Okay. And everything that we do is stemmed on, is, is hinged on, on that. that. Now, what he's trying to say is that the music is what gives it legs yeah. to move. Okay. You know, different, aha. Different, so yes. we could have a conversation and just talk. We could sing what we are saying. Mm. I can sing what I'm saying to you. Right. I'm just I'm still saying what yeah. I'm saying, but I've just added melody to it. So what he's trying to say is that the gospel is foundational to what we do. do okay. We can't circumvent it. Okay. Um, so this has been a very uh, interesting conversation. It's uh, 15 minutes after three. We've got a few minutes to wrap it all up here on the show. Uh, Kovika Kari and Evan Scott join us for this conversation on exploring the Afro gospel wave. And so my last question before getting to individual projects would be um, that one that Evans had mentioned in that interview about the fact that, you see, back in the day, if it was reggae, what about reggae? It wouldn't be nominated in a reggae dance or song of the year. It is still pushed under gospel oh, song of the year. You know what I said? Oh, okay, then clarify. No, 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 I'm, no, no, I'm, no I'm, I mean, I'm, I said, I'm just making a statement. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know what I said. I'm just uh -huh. saying. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, should it be like an agenda that all of you should start pushing so that there's like, if it's like your song, his song, it will go under Afro pop song of the yeah. year, or Afro beat song of it the year. It should be there. I, I, I believe strongly it should be there because the Bible says, go ye into the world, whoever believe. He said, go ye into the world, into all spaces. He said, occupy till I come. He said, through him all things were made and there was nothing that was made, that was made without him. All things are made for him, through him. Mm. Do you understand? What I'm trying to say is that we like to, we like to gospel, we have to box the gospel, which is wrong. Because my song, 100%, is doing amazingly well as compared to any other Afrobeat song. Now, the album, the, the, the award schemes are saying that they, they categorize gospel based on the message. Mm -hmm. If that is it, then my song qualifies to be in there as yeah. gospel. Now, they categorize Afrobeat based on the rhythm okay. or the sound. Then that also qualifies my song True. to be in there. Yeah. Okay. Because if Mr. Drew releases a song, he has a dance challenge. Yeah. Scott Evans has released a song. I also have a dance a challenge. Dance challenge. My song is doing so well. I have yeah. a good video. My song is doing so well. Now, why, sh why should that beat me to that place to limit me to just play? Okay. Yeah. If, even if my video qualifies to be in the video of the year, why should my audio be in the Afrobeat song of the year. Of the year. Okay, Evans, we are wrapping up. Wow. Your new song is 100%. The video is out. Yes, right? it's out, it's out. So please go check it out on YouTube, 100% yeah. from Scott Evans. Yeah. Kofi. Yes, so um, we have something new. I have an yeah. album out. Okay. It's called Lifted High. Okay. Uh, we should all stream it. You can follow us on social media, yeah. Kofi Kakari Music, on all platforms. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming today. I've loved it's this conversation. Yeah. Evan Scott and Kofi Kakari join us here on the Table of Life as we wrap up the show today. Happy birthday to Samuel Bisu from your sister um, in the newsroom of Ignite Media. That is uh, Alberta Bisu. And also happy birthday to Jennifer of New Life Community Baptist Church. Today is your birthday. My name is Desi Fadi, the star boy. And... Uh, Nana? Um, tomorrow we're back. Tomorrow's a holiday. So it's we are going to have a, an extended yeah, version. So sure. tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> we are going to have um, two artists and yeah. also a oh, footballer who is also an artist. So make sure you are tuning from 3 to 4.30. My name is Anaya Tanobosh and we did this with Helen, Helen Anyewija, a.k.a. Helen K. Right. A big shout out to the production crew. Up next is... Up uh, next is the rest of us. The rest of us. Everything from us. All right, see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>